I met a woman today who told me about her family story and some of her own. Uh, She's from Korea, and her mother was actually born at a time when marriages were arranged by family, and it was illegal to educate women. So because of the arranged marriages, you were kind of almost just connected to somebody and sold off into slavery for the rest of your life. The only thing that they thought a woman would be capable to do would be to raise a house, tend to children. So her mother never got to go to school, though she was very, very bright. So when this lady came along, the one that I met today, it was still frowned upon to educate girls. But her grandfather was the principal principal of the school, and he was a pretty important guy. His face was on the outside of the building, and he was well respected in the community. So he made sure that she got educated through the 10th grade, and it took a lot of clout to pull that one off but he couldn't get it enough where she could graduate high school. So when it was time to finish those last two years of school, and she really wanted to graduate high school, by the way, other family members stepped in, and they were attempting to get her marriage arranged with someone she'd never met. Arranged marriage, meaning you never didn't get to meet the person you're going to marry. All you got was a photograph of them, and you met them when you stood at the altar and took your vows. Well, she got scared and angry. She wanted to finish high school, but she didn't want an arranged marriage. So she made a plan and she snuck out in the middle of the night and she actually got herself to an adjoining country and started working two jobs until she found a military man, got married to him, and made her way to the United States. And here she is in front of me. She told me the story and I'm telling you, I thought this had to be like 100, 200 years ago, you know, from how how archaic that conversation sounded to me. This woman is six months older than I am. So of course, you know, there's always that gratitude of the opportunities we have and things that are available to us. But there's also the opportunities that I've had and taken advantage of to fail, to fall flat on my face, to dust myself off and say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna try nothing for a while. I'm gonna do this, that, or the other at my own will and whim. We're so lucky.